Okay, so we've um, added our, our actor, um, our timer class to the um, actor classes in our class diagram. So let's let's put a timer on the screen and see what it does. So we get, we say new timer, and see we just get that little green foot because there's not a, um, a set image associated with it. We kind of we, we draw the image. It's not uh, an image that you add like um, like the, the turtle or, or some of the other images. So if we, we type in a string here, time spent, and click OK. So you see kind of it's kind of like this box is used deal over here. It's giving us a um, what we typed in, we typed in time spent, and it's telling us the time spent is zero. So let's see what um, other things we have in here. So um, what does it say? Uh, so there's actually a, a method called time spent. Let's see what that returns. So that's returning a zero at this point. So it looks like we haven't really started the clock yet. Let's see. If we say um, update, oh, it's gone right to 14. So there must have been a start time in there someplace. Um, if we reset, it goes back down to zero. Mm, let's try updating again. Now it's eight. If we update it to a particular value, like 5, okay, now it's 5, um, we can act, and every time we act, it steps through, and it's, it's kind of jumping, it's not doing one second at a time, well, but that's because we're not, if we click really fast, we can Okay, so if you take too much time between clicks, then seconds are going to go by. But the basic idea is that it's um, it's uh, typing in our seconds. So if we want to, so we want to place this um, in our world someplace. And um, what we can do now, this is again, this is a, a regular class. So you can, if you want to take a look at the code, you can double click on it and, and look in and see what's going on. It's based on actually this guy, system.nanotime. So we're really looking at nanoseconds and it's, you know, there, there are this many nanoseconds in a second. So it's, it's, it's quite accurate and it'll work on, um, on different machines. Um, so uh, yeah, so um, like I said, you can you can take a look at it if you want, but let's just uh, see how we would stick it into this world here. So what we can do is we can inspect this guy, and this says, oh, okay, the x coordinate is 474, and the y coordinate is 19. So if we want to stick it in the world, we're going to give it an x and a y somewhere around, you know. Maybe 475 and 20 or something like that. So um, we can go into Warm World and we can kind of also look at what we did with box. So we see the Y coordinate for the for the uh, the counter, the um, the thing that counted the the number of boxes on the screen, the number of blue boxes on the screen. That was this guy. Okay, so. His y coordinate is 15. So we want to probably put our timer someplace around here. So I've added a um, oh, you know what? Yeah, so the one actually the version you have won't have this in it. What we want to do is after um, private counter, we want to say private 
timer, timer. Okay, so we're going to add in a timer to our world. And then we are going to figure out where we want to put it. So where we want to put it, so see the, the, um, the counter that said box is used. We stuck that at 110.15. So let's, let's go ahead and create a timer. New timer, time, time spent, and then we'll add this. Yeah, let's stick it at like uh, 490, let's say, 15. Um, so that should put it in place. Make sure that compiles. Okay, so now when we compile everything, it says timer spent. When we time spent, when we run, yeah, it's plugging along. Okay, so now we have our timer in place, and what we can do is we can add a little bit in here because um, uh, you know it should make a difference if you win in a short time or a long amount of time, right? So let's um, um, add some stuff in here so that our final score depends partly on time, and we'll do that in the next video.